This is an overview of the new VRA Core Embedded Metadata Export-Import Tool for Adobe Bridge. This version works with the new metadata palette, which includes VRA Core indexed fields. It is compatible with the metadata previously embedded using the older File Info panel. That metadata was all display data, and you can export and Im import that same data with this tool even if you're not using indexed data. So to get started, after you've installed the tools, go to the VRA Core Metadata menu and select Export Import. By default, you will see the Export screen. You can click beside it to move to the Import screen. To export data, you have to choose which files you want to export. The first option will export any thumbnails that are selected currently in Bridge. You can select one or several thumbnails. You can also select the second option to export metadata from all files in the current folder in Bridge. If that's not the folder you want to export, you can click the Browse button to navigate to a different folder. You can also include any subfolders that might be found within that folder. Below that, you have two options. The first one allows you to prepend any dates that are exported with an underscore. This maintains those date values as plain text when you open it in Microsoft Excel. You can also remove any line breaks or carriage returns from your metadata, which can cause problems in Excel. To run an export, you click the export button, select a location to save your text file to, and then name your text file, and then click Save. Hopefully you get the success message that will tell you how many files have been exported and where they, the text file has been saved. You can open that text file in a spreadsheet by going to File, Open, navigate to the location where your text file was saved to, make sure you're searching for text files, choose the file, it should default to be delimited, and you want to change the character encoding or file origin to UTF-8 if it's not already set that way. That will ensure that any special characters are encoded correctly. Make sure you're delimited by tabs. You should see a display like this. And then click Finish, and there's the metadata I exported from those images. You can see this spreadsheet is quite a lot larger than the one for the File Info panel, but again, the display fields will still import and export the same. They use the same properties. Unfortunately, at this point, there is no way to customize these columns, so you kind of uh, have to use what you get. To run an import, open the tool again, select the Import screen, and here the same thing applies. You've got to choose the location of your files you want to import to. It defaults to the current folder in Bridge, but you can click Browse to go to a different folder. You also have the option to include subfolders if you want to. Below that, you have to specify the path or the location of your tab-delimited text file to import from. You can do this by clicking Browse, going to that location. Then below that, you have options. You can match on just the file name, or if you're doing subfielders, you might consider matching on both the folder path and the file name. This way, if you've got nested subfolders and there are duplicate file names in any of those subfolders, it won't cause a problem. For existing data, you have the option to either overwrite all fields with what's contained in your spreadsheet or your text file. This means if you have any blank cells in your spreadsheet, they will become blank in the embedded file. If you want to protect any existing metadata, you can choose the second option, which will only write to fields that are currently empty in your image. Below that, you have options to ignore file extensions. This way, if you've got TIFFs or JPEGs and you want them to get the metadata, the same metadata, it doesn't matter. 
what the file extension is. Below that, you have options to create IPTC properties from all the VRA properties. This means your metadata will be more visible to users who do not have the VRA tools. For instance, just plain photo tools, uh, they almost all read IPTC metadata. So you can click these options to create a title, a headline, a description caption, and keywords. Then the final option is to set a white thumbnail label that will indicate that these files have been embedded with VRA core metadata. Then just click import to run the import. Hopefully you get success and this tells you how many files have been imported and which fields have been imported. And then close that window and you should see your metadata in the files. That's it.